So you just got your Gilded server up and running, and as an admin, you're looking at other stuff that you can possibly do with it. Well, one thing that you could do is get started in your bots. What bots are is makes things a lot easier. It automates your processes so you don't have to give XP. Uh, you don't have to automatically set up people when they subscribe to you on Twitch or through Patreon. So let's go ahead and jump quick, get and started quickly in setting up your bots. All right, so what is a bot? Well, is this like anything in Discord? It's a automated bot that helps you run your server. What it does is goes through and when someone makes a post or sets up a new thread or anything that you can think of within your Gilded server, it does the work for you. So you can go off and do anything else that you want to do. What this video is gonna be going through is setting up your bots, what you can do with them and get everything started and ready to go for, you know, when your community starts growing. So what, where can I find the bots? Well, they are pretty much right there. If you look over here on the right hand side in your member list, the, you're showing you have two bots already when you first start up your server. You got a howdy bot, which as its name suggests, it greets new users or new members. An XP bot, which as a name also is part of, it creates uh, or gives your members XP as they continue to um, be involved with your community. Now, a lot of people don't want to go ahead and uh, move away from, or they want to move away from the Discord type of thinking where you have to have bots for one particular thing and then you have another bot to do something else. With this, you can, well, with Gilded, because they're built into the software, you can combine these two and so much more into one single bot. So you don't have four, five, or six bots doing all those different things. You kind of can make it your own thing. So let's go ahead and jump in and to create a first bot for this server. So what you want to do is go to the top left here where it says your server username or your server name. Click on the little drop down, go to settings. And this takes you into your server settings. And you'll see here that bots is in beta because they are continually adding new features. The newest thing that they just added or not just added, but it's been about a couple weeks or so from when this re uh, video was recorded oh, is the Patreon bot. And this has direct integration between Patreon and your Gilded uh, community. So that's a nice thing that if you have, uh, if you're an artist or you're doing uh, Patreon levels, you can instantly set that up that if someone uh, subscribes to you through Patreon, they will also have that subscription in your Gilded community. So let's go ahead and let's create a bot. So how do we do that? Well, as you can see, there's a button that says, let's create a bot. Well, let's go ahead and create a name for it. Test Bot Bob. Now, Gilded has different uh, things. I don't know if you understand of IFTTT or if this, then that, where you have, if there is a tweet, then what you want to do is add a post or something along those lines. You get it. It has a flow. So what you want to do is go ahead and flow. It opens up a new window. Now we want the bot to trigger on something, right? It's, it's just not going to do anything if there's nothing to trigger. So I hit add and you have a list of all the built-in features that this bot can listen for or look for within your Gilded community. So let's go ahead and set this up for when someone makes a topic, a forum topic. So let's go ahead and select forum topic created. Uh, any forums channel, unfortunately we don't, we don't have any open. And any member or role. So it's anybody that's on your server. You, don't have, you can customize this to your heart's content. But for simplest, uh, for simplistic take over here, Let's just set it up for any member or role and then click on next. 
Because now what you want to do is, okay, it's looking for this particular action or this particular trigger. What do we want the bot to do? Well, we click on add and we want to set up where it creates or sets a, let's just do a sends a custom message within a channel. So let's select that. Default is, let's go ahead and have for general. Now here you can go and set up some triggers, some uh, different things that you want it to do. Uh, let's say someone makes a form topic and we want it the bot to say, hey, so-and-so has set up a form topic in the general chat. This is not really what you want to do because it kind of defeats the purpose of having a form and saying, hey, there's something new in a form because people can see it anyways. So for for just for now, let's just say, hey, a new forum topic was made. And hit next. And that's pretty much it. You hit save and your bot is created. So let's go ahead. Oh, before we go anywhere else, you want to make sure you hit save changes before you leave the screen. Because if you click this exit button or you go somewhere else, you're going to lose what you just created. So let's go ahead and hit save changes. So it shows you that changes have been saved. And now we can go back to our overview. And let's go ahead and create a forum real quick. We'll learn how to spell. And now what I'm going to do is create a new topic, test topic here and post up some words and go in here to read. So now once I create this topic, it's going to make a post or a um, chat within the general chat. So once it goes through, there we go. So we got a forum, the top forum topic is created and we see our bot has made a new post in the general chat area. Hey, a new forum topic was made. So that is a simplistic way of looking at different bots. Now, what, what we want to do is not have so many bots because right now we got three. Let's go ahead and condense them into one. So let's go back into settings, bot settings, and let's go ahead and use uh, test Bob. Let's go ahead turn the other two off by clicking on the little toggle right here. So I'm going to turn those off. I'm going to test the three dots here that goes into the edit. And we want to add. We want to add a trigger, what the bot is looking for. Let's just say uh, we want to see if a Twitch stream has started or is gone online. So let's go ahead and select that. Uh, it's gonna be any member or role. Of course, you can change these in your own permissions and whatever uh, user levels that you have on your server. It's totally up to you. So I'll click on next. We want to take an action or we want the bot to take, uh, do an action. So when a stream goes online and that is to create, let's say again, select send a custom message. And you can put in emojis or anything that you like. All right, so what you want to do is set up where it shows that the particular streamer is started streaming a particular game. So how do you do that? And it also adds in their link. So what you can do is use these commands, the trigger, triggering user, started streaming, and of course the money sign again and it gives you a uh it's like a it's like autocomplete what are you looking for if you put this in here you go here, here you go and what we want is the stream link with the link the url of the stream from the trigger let's go ahead and put that in and um hit next 
So everything looks good. Click on save. And then again, save changes. Changes have been saved. Now we can go ahead and clear out of that. So what's gonna happen is if you have your permissions set up, we'll talk about that in the next video, is that anyone who has the role of streamer or whatever you have assigned, and they have their Twitch uh, connected to their Gilded account, every single time they go live on Twitch, it'll automatically show up that they've gone live on Twitch with a handy dandy link to their stream. So that's pretty much a quick primer into bots here on Gilded. Now I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays over on Twitch, 9 p.m. Eastern, and also Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern over on Gilded, or uh, Blemish, sorry. <laughs> So, and also you can find me over on Twitter at Two Ton Waffle. That's the number two Ton Waffle. And there's also a link here for in the description of my Gilded server. Would be loving to have you come by and join us. But until then, happy creating. Yeah, that's what I was looking at too. I told. You. Yeah. No. Don't let it get me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie.